YouTube. I'm John. I'm going to help you guys uh, get your road glide ready for powder coating, particularly speaking in the rear brake directional mount um, where all the light bezels and everything are. I know I had an issue trying to figure it out with all the diagrams online, couldn't find a video. So once I figured it out, I figured I'd throw a video online, hopefully help someone else out so they don't have to take as long trying to figure it out. So uh, we'll go ahead and get started and uh, I already recorded how to take it out, so I'm just going to edit it in there and hope you enjoy it. Alright, so exact tools I'm using to do this are a pick, my own custom little hanger bracket that I made just out of wire. Uh, you could probably do it out of a coat hanger if you wanted. Flathead screwdriver, and uh, at the end I used a Allen wrench to get that last light off, which uh, is 5 64ths is what I ended up using. That's the one that fit for me. So that will get your whole harness off your bike and your housing out and ready for powder coating. So I already took my bar off. Um, basically you're gonna have to do that on your own. Just very simple, these two bolts on the back of the fender. Um, but assuming you already know how to do that, we're just gonna leave it the way it is. All right, now what you're gonna wanna start with first is uh, on the lens you'll see a very small little indent, use a flathead screwdriver, pop that right off, very simple, move that to the side. From there, take your light socket out, push in, twist and turn, comes right out. Now this is the part that uh, I didn't realize was uh, what they were trying to tell me on the diagrams. You're just going to want to make something that's like that, a little hook to grip on on the inside here. So basically there's a couple grooves, probably can't see them, but they're in there. Basically you want to take one of these, slide it into the hook, one's hooked now. Take the other one, you press that little lever, now both are hooked in that light socket. I don't know if you can see it, but they're both hooked in there. If I pull on this, it has pressure. Some people say you need a screwdriver or a pick to get that little gasket out. Don't do that. All you're going to do is destroy the gasket. So once you hook those two, apply a nice even pressure. Pull towards yourself. As you do that, see one side already came out. Now you just don't want to work the other side. Just like that. Your whole fixture is now out. You don't have to damage the gasket or anything like that. All you have to do now is take this little plug that you made a little hook I should say, take that, now it's out, your plug is now free. Alright, next step is uh, grab out a little pick. There's a clip on the inside holding that majority of the plug in, it's going to be this one right here, this clip here. What you're trying to find is the tab that is holding this on right there. So it's the black wire. That's holding this pretty much all together. If you slide along the edge, you'll find the little tab. When you find it, you just lift it and uh, pop it right off there. You can actually hear that, that noise. That's me moving the clip that I'm trying to get. You gotta try to lift it and pull on the black plug at the same time to get it all to release. This is probably the most difficult part of this whole deal. For video purposes and for time, I'm probably gonna fast forward this so that way you guys don't have to sit here and watch me try to pick this thing out because sometimes it could take a minute, other times it could take 10. So just be patient and just remember it's small little pieces so don't cram them. Alright, so about a minute and a half later I ended up getting it. That little tab right there I depressed, that's all it is. Basically when you slide this in, that was inside the uh, housing there. When you slide the pick in, you're going to be on top, you just want to push down. All right, push that little tab down and it will uh, pop 
pop right out of that. So that tab right there. You want to push it down this direction. Okay. So we do that. It's gonna give you a little more slack here. <clears throat> From there. Take the wires in the back and push all this down towards it. It's gonna lift that right up out of there like that. Should be able to see it. From there, slide that little housing down. Grab a hold of the hand, hold the plastic. Don't lose the plastic. Simply pull right through. There's little slots in them. Grab the other one. Pull right through. Alright, so now it's like that. This came out, has those little marks. That's where the wire goes through. Just pull it right out of there. <clears throat> Stick that off to the side. Now your housing comes right up. Just feed the wires through. Don't get it hooked on the spring. here you just have this little rubber gasket on the inside see it right there on the back that right there so all you have to do is wiggle it back and forth try and work its way out of there you could use a screwdriver but I don't want to cut anything I'm gonna try it with the screwdriver just to see screwdriver just force the edge of it in so now you can see it's starting to come out the back once you get that little bit just work it the rest of the way comes right out wires will feed right out of there obviously one at a time So like that. All right, now you're gonna repeat this step on the other side. Obviously I already did it. So from there, all you have to do now is take the rest of this apart. Um, very simple. A couple of Allen heads, take that off. That'll come off. The wiring will come right off of this and uh, you're pretty much good for powder coat. So in case those of you that wanted to see this uh, completely finished, you gotta go ahead and take the rest of this off screw that Allen head take this one off now you're off there unfeed that through there unfeed that there now you have just the bezel it can be heated up in the powder coating or whatever you want to do with it this is just the mount now and everything is out so make sure you mark your parts uh, so you know exactly where they go back together and uh, hope this video helped you out. Alright guys, that should do it. Um, thanks again for watching. My name is John and uh, hopefully this helps some of you guys out there get done what you need to do and off the powder coating.